Welcome back to our Certified Entry Level Python Programmer course, and we are ready to officially cover the print function. Yeah, we've seen plenty of use of the print function, but one thing I'd like to start out with right now is I'd like us to go ahead and take a look at how we could find documentation about any of the built-in functions. So let's go to python.org and let's go to the documentation docs area. And if you scroll down, notice there is under the Python 3.x resources, there is an area labeled library reference, also language reference, but library reference is going to get it done for us because there's the built-in functions right there. And notice there is the built-in print function. When you come in and you look at the built-in print function, notice what it does. It shows us the possible syntax that we can utilize with this function. Notice it says that we can have a number of objects to print separated by a, uh, what is that? That's a comma. <laughs> yeah, that is a comma, so we can uh, print multiple objects separated by commas, and then notice there's a separator entry and an end entry we can give. There's also a file and a flush reference, but we don't need to worry about these because they are not called out for us to know based on our exam objectives. So notice there is a lot of great value from checking the documentation when you're working with your built-in functions. And don't forget, of course, that we can read all about the print function here as well. All right, so we've got a couple of things to see based on this ex exploration here that we have not seen before with the print function. The first thing we'll take a look at is the ability to print multiple things uh, you know, multiple objects. So I could say something like X equals 10 and Y equals five, for example. And then I can say print, I can print X and then I can print Y and then I can print maybe X plus Y. And we have to do case sensitivity here with these variables. And so, yeah, look at this example. Here I am printing X and then Y and then X plus Y for 10, 5, and 15. Now, one of those special characters that we saw we can introduce, or special arguments, I should say, is the separator. So let's play with that right now. I could say X, Y, X plus Y once again. And this time, instead of hitting enter, I'm going to do another comma, and I'm going to say that instead of separating things with a space, I would like things separated by, how about a pipe symbol? So now I'm gonna close off my parentheses. So notice here we are saying, let's print X and then Y and then X plus Y, but for a separator, instead of a space, let's use a pipe. What do we expect? We should see 10, pipe 5, pipe 15, and look at that. That's exactly what we see. So there is this separator argument. Now, the other argument we haven't covered here is something that you're really best to experiment with utilizing a Python module. And what it is, is what Python will do at the end of the printing. Notice by default, we can see in the arguments here that by default, there'll be a slash new line. Yeah, that whole backward slash N is for a new line. So when we print, we have it end with a new line. But I can modify that. Watch this. I'm going to say print hello. And then I'm going to say, comma, the end equals, how about just a space? 
So first we're going to print hello, and then at the end of that printing, we're just going to do a space, and I'm going to then print this is more text, because I'm not feeling that creative today. All right, so look at this. We have the two print statements, and we have the first print statement that is modifying the what's going to happen right after the printing. Yeah, instead of skipping to a new line, we're saying it should just enter a space. All right, we'll go ahead and file save this. I'll save it into my downloads as simply a module named print. And there we go. We're going to go ahead and remember first, check the module. Okay, great. No errors. Now we're going to go back to that module and we are going to run that module. And look at that. It works just as we would expect. Hello. And then there's no new line. There's a space. And then it says, this is more text. So, yeah, the print function. You now should feel very comfortable with it. And these additional options that we just saw, these arguments where we can set a separator character and we can also dictate what's going to happen when the print is done, what happens at the end of printing. Remember, too, that we can mix values here. So I could always say, okay, print the value of x and then give me a string. This is the value of x. This is the value of x. You get the idea. So just keep in mind that, yeah, we can print a whole bunch of objects. And of course, we had not defined what x was, but you get the idea. This will work just fine. In fact, let me prove it. x is 10, and then I'm going to print the value of x, and I'm going to just print some quick uh, text in a string that says hi. And there we go. So no problem mixing different types of objects to print either. Well, thank you so much for joining me in this video. In the next video, per the objectives of our exam, we're going to be taking a look at the input function. I'll see you there.